Oh, good morning. It's uh, April 29th. Um, this is day 29 of this Song a Day challenge. Um, and uh, yeah, I th- now I feel like it's getting along in the tooth. But uh, could be because I'm mildly hungover. Um, but so today I've really felt the need to shift gears and uh, get out of the 4-4 um, and, and get out of the any of the genres that I've been writing in so far. And so I've got a bit of a late start because I was cooking up this 6-4 beat that um, I really like. And I hope, hope I can do something with it. So check it out. So, let's see uh, if anything comes of this. Phone behind.
me get back on the rhythm here. Too much there. There we go. Haha. <laughs> Playing eight. <laughs> Still falling back in that four four. Like it's too slow. I'm at I'm at 185. I feel like I want to go up another 40 beats. Hey, that's better. That 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 feels a little more fluid. What did I do? I hit the wrong button here now. There we go. All right, now it's too many, but too fast. Playing eight again. Drop D for this.
went a little too far, a little too much. Okay, uh, I'm not hating this. I'm gonna record this just so we can get a scratch track going. That's right, it's six counting in. change to this so that sounds that's the kind of riff that can just go on forever which is good I like that it means less writing Oops. wrong guitar patch that's why it's punching me in the face there we go I'm using the lead patch I should be using the rhythm Not a four count, a six count, damn it. You fuck off. gone stupid again. interesting. Bit of a tonal departure. Let's see uh, how it sounds in context. Mm. Six count, not a four count.
I definitely want more of a tonal change there. Um, it's coming in from. Counting six. Eight again. Yeah, okay, that's what I gotta do. Shorten that. Doing eight again. That's not going to work. Still hitting that eight. It's the same freaking rhythm. I can't pick it up. Five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six.
Six count. I never get used to that. Hands getting tired already. Just not sure I'm all in on this riff. Let's see if it sounds like anything. Well, it's a, it, it works. It works with the first part. It is a change. If I want that to be the first riff in this change. That's better. Let's see what we've got now. Not bad. I'm realizing now, though, that um, this is in six. Technically, well, by the software, this is in six four. I have this set to six four down here. Uh, the timing, but I think it's actually um, six eight at half the tempo. Um, there's no way that this is two two twenty five. So I'll probably rework this to be um, more technically correct, where it's you know, 6.8 at 112, 113 um, BPM. But that's, that's for later. That's just a technicality. Anybody listening to it isn't going to say, oh, you know what? This 6.4 should really be 6.8. jerking off let's get back into it that was my mic really that low why is it that low oh, excuse me is that better that's a little better uh, 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 that looks okay on the on the streaming software so <clears throat> i will allow it
So right a baseline always helps to tighten things up. Okay, so we are in drop D. Starting off with a little chug a lug. the triplet setting as usual. No, he's flat, that's right, because we're in Drop D, so I was gonna go E flat F, E flat E F. All right? It's not that fast. That's better. Just gonna pull everything down a bit. Drag these guys up to G, A flat, A. Yes, 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 now we're getting somewhere. Let's mute the guitar and just hear the bass and drums. Let's keep going with this. Um, I have a feeling I may not keep this part. Let's see what we're doing. A, A, G. Same rhythm, just uh, starting at the fourth. Mm, what do I do? I want C. Uh, not a, Standard tuning. I want um, oh uh, B flat A. That's right. Mm. to the C 
see. This screws down. Oh, it stays the same. This goes down to the F. Let's mute the guitar or just the bass and drums on those. That's it. That's what I want it to sound like. So, run this out the length of the riff. And let's hear it all together. It's not it's not not bad not not great but it never is in the beginning stages um let me try my uh bridge pickup i realized i was using the both the neck and bridge for this and uh my bridge pickups probably a little more a little gainier a little hotter let's re-record this with the bridge pickup need to re-record individually. I forgot that part. Six count. I think I wrote the baseline in wrong. There we go. Now let's hear it with the little more high, a little more gain. Yeah, yeah, it's not as dull. Thank you. 
All right. Well, we're getting somewhere with this uh, technically 6 8 rhythm. You know, I'm going to switch everything over to 6 8 bring the tempo down because I actually want to bump the tempo up on this, make it faster. Um, so give me a second while I rework all of this into that six, eight rhythm, which means let's start with a, a single bar is now down to, is now expanded out to two. So let's drag this down. And um, that's right. These are going to tighten up here. They're going to be in between. You're going to hit the five. You're going to hit the six. You're going to hit the six and. All right. Let's do that for the second bar. Let's hear it first. Make sure I'm right about this. Yeah. <clears throat> it's just that Studio One also, since I, I dropped the tempo down like in half, it also cut the guitar uh, in half. So I'll have to re-record that in order to get this right. Oh, yeah. Um, I definitely will. I just want to uh, tighten this up a bit. Uh, oops, actually, I messed that up. Hold on a second. There we go. That stays there. Yeah, I'm going to. I just. I had two bars here um, that I wanted to. All right, that sounds a bit better. Um, so I can kill, I can cut this up now. Kill that. Eight bars there. These dudes, um, make sure that's right. It is a bit faster than I had before, but that's that's okay, I want it to be faster. Yeah. Stick with that for right now. Wait, did I? I did, yeah, I did. I moved the... Uh, the, the, the hi-hats. And this is going to be... Let's create another bar here. And dun, 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 dun. More room on this. Hey, DeGent, how's it going? So I really hope this is worth the effort. Oops. Oh, no, that stays there. And this comes in like so. OK. 
Okay. All right. There's a slight variation again in the second. Uh, the second bar. Why did that work out so well? Um, I messed something up here, but I don't hate it. Everything falls where it needs to be, so... Uh, Good enough for now. Delete. All right. Is that going to get me to my six count? Yes, it is. Ugh, stop it. Greasy fingers. Uh, does it go up to the G? Yes, it goes up to the G. That can go, that can go, that can go, and that can go, that can go. That a couple of times. sure I've got this right or if I've wasted all this time um, I played on them it's not bad All right, so I wasn't totally wrong about that. Now I give. Now I feel a little more in control. All right, let's drag you down and you. You're all I really need. Everybody else can fuck off.
everything gets cut in half. Oh, a little more than half. There we go. I don't need to do that. I just need to, to duplicate this. And adjust. So I'm going down to G F. G. Now that can go away. And duplicate. These might be coming in a little fast. Back them off a bit. Yeah, it sounds, that sounds a little more like it. There we go. It's probably the same thing down here, right? Uh, no, that's about right. <sighs> All right, now we're officially in 6.8. I have a little more control. I can make this faster without, you know, putting it in ridiculous <laughs> tempo. Um, so let's bump it up to 125. Okay, a little bit faster, a little more fun. Um, let me loop this so I can relearn this. Hilarious. All right, let's re record this part. Six count. That bass line is quite right yet. It's not. Because the interesting note should be hitting. Oh, it is on the one. Or the 
the front end of the beat. Spin the back end of the beat. Ah, that could explain the rhythm issues I'm having. So this is kind of a triplet feel here, I think. No, it still doesn't explain it. that later in the editing. Six count. I still came in early. <laughs> I was even prepared for it. Well, it's taken a long time to get to this point. But they can't all be zingers.
Alright, now it might be a little too fast. Right back down to 115. All right, split the difference 118 and leave it there. All right, there are some rhythmic issues here. What is it? I think it's just timing issues. I'll fix that in the in the recording session. Oh, good. Twenty four whole seconds of music. I try to fill at least a minute and a half. <laughs> Interesting one. No, I need some sort of bridge. It's not quite right here. I think you, I think you guys, so we'll be back here on the five and the six. Oops, no, you're a one. You stay there. That's better. So that needs to be fixed in all of these. All right, that's what was screwing me up. Um, which means this needs to be adjusted as well. Boom, like so. Yes, 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 has to be. So it wasn't that complicated of a pattern. That fits the uh, guitar better, the guitar rhythm better. Okay, good. Ugh. The funny part is this started out as a as an exercise in five four, and um, I was before the the live stream. I was testing it out, and uh, it 
I kept just adding another beat to the to the five four. I'm like, okay, so this is obviously going to be six four, and that's proving to be a struggle. Six four is a little is a lot easier than five. It's also a weird six four count, which is why I like it because typically it'd be like. Uh, right now the snare is hitting on three, one, two, three, four, five, six. When typically it'd be like one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm kind of, I've switched to three and four, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, which is just a little offbeat. this has the same issue it does There's the same rhythmic issue as the second part um, and this is off there we go uh, maybe that'll make things a little easier actually having the pattern that I started with all right, back to the bridge. Take it to the bridge. Yes, yes. Uh, I, I I love playing around with um uh, with those uh, with the in time, but. Uh, Oh, is it in seven eight? Oh, sweet. <laughs> no, I, I didn't. I didn't uh, catch that, but um, but that's that's awesome. I uh, I love odd meters, but I'm not great with them yet. Um, I still have to. Uh, I got to practice with them a lot in this, especially in a writing situation. Um, but I love odd meters. I also like going back to what you're saying, a uh, four, four beat three times adding up to six, two, six, four beats. Um, I also like breaking up the four, four into um, a pattern of three, three, and two. So it technically be eight, eight, but it would be uh, three eighth notes, three eighth notes, and then two. So it sounds like dot 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 dot. It's it's like a triplet beat, but um, yeah, I I could tell from your from your uh your uh recordings, a lot of fantastic polyrhythms. I don't even remember what the hell I wrote. All right. Pretty basic for now. What I do love about the writing sessions, though, is that um, the way the track evolves over the through the course of the day. Um, at night when I get back to it. Um, it starts from this really basic nothing um, into something listenable. Oh, in fact, uh, here, I, I'll play for you the uh, the funk track I was working on yesterday because um, I haven't finished the mix yet.
and then it fades out. But uh, yeah, the, the horns, um, they just jump up a fourth, which uh, I guess can be a little jarring. Um, but uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, still have still working on the mix for that one. Um, I usually get it done by the end of the day, but uh, or the end of the night. Um, but you know, life got in the way. <laughs> so. Yeah, thanks, man. Now back to this. Oh man, it's eight thirty already. Oh, cool. You know, that's what I was going for. You know, uh, the hook. You know, looking for the hook. But shit, it's eight thirty already. All right, I'm gonna. Uh, I want to see if I can push this a little bit. Yeah, this should be a totally different beat. Yeah, yeah. Got to pay the bills, but I'm a web developer. I build websites. Um, so I could, it, it's nice I get to work from home, but um, it, doing this publicly, like, you know, I should be at my desk working. <laughs> instead, I'm dicking around on Twitch. <laughs> so I got to uh, get to the day job. Yeah, I've I've worked from home for years, even before COVID hit, um, and it's I, I don't think I could go back to an office because uh, I wouldn't be able to do shit like this. You know, maybe for the bridge, I bring it back to four four. And do what you had said about um, playing something in four, three times. Well, actually, you know what? That is an idea to work with. I'm going to put a pin in that. Almost literally. And uh, insert time signature. Okie dokie. Ah, yes. Now you're talking. I, I think I'm going to uh, I'm going to attempt that later tonight, because um, I think that that's kind of the challenge I'm looking for right now. Thanks, man. Appreciate the <laughs> appreciate the uh, suggestion. But <laughs> yeah. But with that, I have to leave you and uh, <laughs> go make some money. The gent, again, man, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the suggestions. Um, and I will, uh, should be here tomorrow. <laughs> I'll talk to you later.